the technology still in its infancy, harnessing the power of the ocean waves to turn your lights on. OSU scientists hope that these buoys right behind us here can This research project is so important for Oregon because it gives us a sense of what wave energy devices will do in our wave climate. So the developers would like to eventually commercialize here, but before they get to that stage, they want to know how their devices will react to our ocean, how much energy they'll produce, and what's really important for us is to understand what kind of effect they'll have on the environment. For example, are they putting out a lot of noise that might interrupt the communications of marine mammals? Um, are they putting out electromagnetic fields that might get in the way of salmon? So this gives us a chance to put the devices in the water in a controlled situation and really understand and how they perform. Yeah, so Oregon is unique with respect to wave energy in the United States in several ways. First of all, the west coast has the best waves. Waves are produced by the winds, and so the, as the winds go from west to east over the oceans, the waves accumulate on the west coast, so great wave resource in order to get energy. Secondly, we've got wonderful transi transmission infrastructure that exists on our coast because of our, the history of industry on the coast. So that means nothing else needs to be done in order to accommodate, accommodate this new energy source. That also means that the, the energy production in Oregon can be sort of evened out west to east. Another thing that we have going for us is the great manufacturing companies who are already here. Um, Oregon Ironworks was involved in manufacturing this particular device, and they're but one of the many com companies we've got around. And then lastly, well, not lastly, but importantly, Oregon State University is the home of the Northwest National Marine Renewable Energy Center, and we're a leader in wave energy research. So we're here to provide the, the neutral voice of science and engineering, telling the communities what these devices do when they're in our waters. Well, one of the things that these tests will do to resolve questions about ocean use is to really understand how much energy is getting produced at what cost, what's the cost of manufacturing, can these devices coexist with other ocean uses, um, gives a, the community a chance to see view sheds, and we can do research around whether these devices actually might be a draw for tourism or whether it would hurt tourism. So the kind of information we're getting gives the communities and the, the the uh, state of Oregon a, whole, a chance to look holistically at these devices, the technolo technology sides, the environmental sides, and the social trade-offs involved.